Have you ever wondered whether a zinc supplement could help you recover from anxiety? Well that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi, I'm Dr Janelle Sinclair, biochemist and natural medicine practitioner, helping you uncover the biochemical cause, discover the natural treatment, so that you can recover from depression and anxiety. So today, I'm going to tell you about all about zinc, one of my favourite supplements for anxiety. I'll be discussing zinc's role in the brain and in mental health, signs and symptoms of a zinc deficiency, as well as testing and dosages. Make sure that you stick around to the end to find out about any potential side effects or interactions with other medications. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and hit that bell button so that you're notified about our new weekly content. So, let's get into it. As I said, zinc is one of my favourite supplements for anxiety. Just today I had a client ring me to say that it's been a game changer for her. She's previously had severe anxiety, panic attacks and depression. And zinc is part of her regime which has nearly resolved all her health issues as one of four supplements that she takes. And she said that zinc specifically helps her relax, reduces the anxiety and helps her deal with stress. So what is zinc? Zinc is a key mineral and is used in over 200 functions in the body. It plays a role in the immune system, helps the skin and is required for taste and appetite. It protects against toxins and is also important for fertility. Zinc is really important for mental health too. Zinc is the second highest mineral found in the brain, is needed to make the calming neurotransmitter serotonin, and zinc is also thought to act as a neurotransmitter itself. Studies show that zinc levels are lower in individuals that are depressed, and that the more zinc deficient per the person is, the more severe their depression and the more unlikely they will be to respond to antidepressant medications. A zinc deficiency is also found in ADHD, autism, alcoholism and dyslexia as well as depression and anxiety. Is this making sense to you? Give me a yes in the comment section if it is. Let's now discuss what signs and symptoms other than depression and anxiety you may have that may indicate that you're zinc deficient. The most important signs and symptoms that I look for in my clients in my clinic are white dots in the fingernails, acne, both now and uh, past history, bad stretch marks, not just one or two but considerable numbers, and morning nausea. I also ask whether they have a low tolerance to stress or are a warrior. Other symptoms of a zinc deficiency include reduced sense of smell and taste, poor wound healing, low immunity like getting colds all the time, delayed puberty and also skin conditions such as eczema or psoriasis. Zinc deficiency often runs in families along with mental unwellness. So if mental health concerns run in your family, such as anxiety, depression, alcoholism, addictions, bipolar, autism, or you just have lots of worries or stresses in the family, think zinc deficiency. Now let's discuss zinc testing. There's no perfect test for zinc, but there are two types of tests that are, are accessible for most people. Number one, zinc blood testing. Go to your medical practitioner or testing laboratory to request a blood test. Now in New Zealand where I live, this test isn't funded by the government, so it has to be requested and paid for privately. When your results come back, your lab results should indicate if they are low in zinc. That is below the bottom of the reference range, and that's usually less than 10 micromoles per litre. And that would indicate that you have a severe defici deficiency in zinc. You also want to check that your zinc levels are not in the bottom half of the reference range. I personally think that someone has a mild to moderate deficiency of zinc if it's below 14 micromoles per litre. 
The second way to easily assess zinc levels is by using an oral zinc taste test. The zinc taste test uses a weak zinc solution that's a small amount of zinc in water. You put 5 to 10 ml of this solution in your mouth and swirl it around inside your mouth for 10 whole seconds. Your zinc levels in your body is assessed depending on your ability to taste that zinc in the water or not. If you have no specific taste or sensation, even after 10 seconds, you're given a score of 1 and this indicates a severe zinc deficiency. However, if you put the solution in your mouth and you experience no immediate taste, but after a few seconds it becomes dry, mineral or furry, you're given a score of 2 and this indicates a moderate zinc deficiency. Thirdly, if you have a definite though not strongly unpleasant taste almost immediately, you're given a score of 3 and indicating a mild zinc deficiency. And th lastly, if you have a strong immediate metallic taste that's disgusting, then you have adequate zinc levels. So let's discuss zinc supplementation for anxiety and mental health. The recommended dose of zinc for adults with anxiety or depression is typically between 25 and 70 milligrams. A common dose that I prescribe my clients of medium build is 50 milligrams. But the right dose depends on the severity of your de deficiency and your physical size. So if testing shows that you're very deficient and you're over 90 kilograms, take a higher dose. However, if your test only shows a mild deficiency and you're less than 50 kilograms, take a smaller dose. If you're someone that is quite sensitive to supplements or medication, I suggest you start on a small dose and work it up over several weeks as zinc can trigger a detox reaction. The good news is that zinc supplements are really safe. The main side effect you may experience is nausea or vomiting if it's taken on an empty stomach. I always recommend that you take zinc within 20 minutes of a meal and if you feel nauseous it may be that that meal was a little bit too light. So increase the meal size or heaviness of your food choice. Another rare side effect is that zinc promotes a detox reaction and you may experience flu-like symptoms headaches or itchy skin for a week or two after starting it. So if this happens, just stop the zinc for a few days and then lower the dose of zinc for a week or two and once it's tolerated, slowly increase the dose again. Zinc is, a, is safe alongside antidepressant and anti-anxiety medications. However, if, you're, if you are on antibiotics or any medication for diabetes, HIV or cancer, Please discuss it with your medical doctor before you start zinc supplementation. Now you know some of the physical signs that your body gives you that you're zinc deficient, like white dots in the fingernails or stretch marks. But what you may not know is that there are other biochemical causes for anxiety and depression, including vitamin deficiencies or hormonal imbalances and your body gives you signs and signals for these imbalances too. So I created a checklist which has 29 signs and symptoms that may help you uncover the biochemical cause of your depression and anxiety. You can download the checklist for free by clicking the link below this video. Do you have any of the signs and symptoms of a zinc deficiency? Or have you used a zinc supplement in the past? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with anyone that may benefit from it. And remember to hit that subscribe button so that you can keep up to date with our new weekly content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.